Hi, I'm Dan Weisey with the Lessman Instrument Company in the Chicago metropolitan area. This video goes through the universal or global configuration settings that need to be done when a TrendView paperless recorder is taken out of its shipping box and comes to you with factory default configuration, which means it's not configured to do anything useful. For the purposes of making this recording, I had to configure password security, Ethernet communications, and enable a feature called Remote View in the credits, but otherwise the settings you'll see are factory default settings. We'll go through and change the settings to those shown here in this PowerPoint on a live recorder coming up here. The video does not cover configuring analog inputs, pens, or screen layouts. Rather, we're going to go through the things here that we're going to see on the PowerPoint in the next couple seconds. First item to go through is localization. These are global settings that involve the language. We're going to change the time zone from the default Eastern Time to Central Time. Enable Daylight Savings Time. The temperature units on a recorder are global and apply across the board. We're going to change it to degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to set up for a line frequency of 60 Hertz. The time and the data are important because all the data is time stamped. And then we're going to enable various credits. Credits are used to enable options, and we're going to use the ones that we see here. And under Identity, we're going to name the recorder Batch Blender, and then we're going to put a description in there, which best practice says this is where you put in the revision and the latest change you've made to it so that you can identify one setup change from another. And lastly, under Identity is the ID. We're going to call this recorder number three. It's a unique ID for digital communications, Ethernet communications, because it's the third trend view in the plant. When we turn the recorder on, we see that we get a trend screen. We want to navigate to the localization group, so we come in and we click on the menu button. And I've already logged in, as you can see from the red arrow up here, but if you don't have passwords enabled, you won't have to do that. We get to localization through configure, setup, Edit, General, Factory, Localization. We want to leave it at the English language and help at English. We want to change the time zone to Central Time. We click on that and we get a pop-up screen and we have to scroll up to get minus 6 for Central Time in the U.S., which is right here. Click it and highlight it. It changes to Central Time, Daylight Savings Time is enabled. We want to change from degrees C to degrees F. We want to change from 50 Hz on the AC line frequency to 60 Hz. We do so. Paper size only applies if you have a USB printer hooked up to it. We're not going to do that, so we can leave it. Then we finish this and commit it. Commit the changes. And when it's finished, it comes back to the trend screen. We now want to check the time. The time and date are up here in the upper uh, right-hand corner. Uh, you might find that it's off a bit, so we go in and we make any corrections. We go into Menu, Configure, and then Settings. And up comes Set Time with a date and a time. The date's okay. The time is off by minute. I want to make that 10.42. So I click on this box and enter 42, click the green arrow here, it changes it to 1042, do a check mark, and again we finish and you'll note that the time has changed up there. Now let's configure the credits that enable the various options. Again we navigate through the menu, through configure, setup, edit, General, Factory, and Credits. Down here we have the option. It tells us how many credits are available and then how many are in use. We click on the bottom one here for the ones in use. and We want to change Basic Math to Full Math. So we make the selection. We want to enable Events, which allow us to do cause-effect operations with the recorder. We do not need fast scan. We need to enable totals for some flow totals. We need to enable maintenance, which is a diagnostic function. 
We need to enable batch because that's what the recorder is going to be used for. Notice there's a vertical scroll bar over on the side over here. I scroll down and a remote view has already been enabled. We mentioned that previously. And the last thing is, notice that it's not all the way down. We go all the way to the bottom down here and we get extra pens. We need four extra pens for this application. So I come in and I put in four extra pens and enable that. And then we finish and like on the other one, commit the changes. A restart is required, so you got to wait for the period of time that it takes for the recorder to reset. And the last group we want to configure is the identity group. Again, we configure that by going through the menu as configure, setup, edit, general, identity. This is where we want to make the name Batch Blender. So we type in batch blender. We want the description to be the re or to reflect the revision here. So our revision on this setup is 1A and it's a basic setup. and we need to change the recorder's ID number to 3 because it's the third recorder that's going to be on the network. And again we finish it and commit it. That concludes the basic setup of the global settings for the Honeywell Trendview paperless recorder. Thanks for watching.